So today in the studio we have well-renowned gynecologist and IVF specialist Dr. Manish Pandya with us. Welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you. So today we'll be talking in brief about fetal echocardiography, a very recent new term as compared to the other topics. So, doctor, what is your opinion? What is fetal echocardiography as such? As such, fetal echocardiography is to examine fetus heart when fetus is in utero. The basic purpose of doing ultrasound fetal echocardiography is to reduce or to know where the congenital heart disease is there. And if you diagnose antenatally, you can send this patient at proper place for delivery and you can guide the parents that this your child is harboring this congenital anomaly of the heart. Then you should deliver at the tertiary care center where the, all the facilities for your neonate is available. And when it is not too late, when you refer this patient to a specialist, they say you are late. So, what clinically is the ideal age to perform fetal echocardiography? If you see the ideal age is 18 to 20 week. Why I am pertaining to 20 week? Because if something untowards happened to that child in, in utero, we are in the permissible age of termination. I am not saying you have to terminate this fetus, but you can guide those parents perfectly. Then at this 18 to 20 week, you just set your ultrasound parameters perfect. That should be, it should be done in high contrast. You have to decrease the angle of acquisition from 18 to 58 hertz. So image acquisition is usually a little bit slow. Always use the zoom to magnify the heart and always use harmonics. And these all are the settings usually come in preset of the higher end ultrasound machine. But it is not that you have to perform this fetal echocardiography in higher end machine. You can do it in a simple machine that is a specific technique in which you have to see four chamber and three vessels. My motion is to have a pass, pass and pass. The question arises: why I interrogated three passes. First pass is position, axis, size, symmetry and squeeze. Means heart occupies one third of the chest. Size of heart, both atria and both ventricles should be of equal size and there must be presence of moderator band in right ventricle. Both atria should be of equal size. Foramina ovale flap opens in LA and there should be a presence of septum primum. And you have to see an intact septum from apex to crux. Then there is 2 1 mitral and tricuspid, and there is a normal offset. So, heart occupies one third of the chest and size is equal. Then comes symmetry. Then comes squeeze. You can see the heart is squeezing normally, and there should be no pericardial effusion and no wall hypertrophy. Another pass is pulmonary aorta and superior vena cava. Third pass is position, alignment and size. Okay. So, if you want to do this fetal echocardiography by this simple technique, first you have to establish a situs. Situs means situs solitus. Heart is located in the left side of the chest. So, first take your transducer towards fetal head. See the synchronicity between the transducer and machine. This is right, this is left. Then move your transducer Keep it below towards the fetal abdomen, see for stomach bubble, usually it is on the left side of the heart, left side of the abdomen and move your probe a little bit away. You can see that this is fetal heart on the left side and stomach bubble is also on the left side and presence of inferior vena cava on the right side. So, your synchronicity is done just in a single sweep. Then you have to see for four chamber, then just move your probe little bit kephalate from four chamber to three vessel view that is pulmonary, aorta and superior vena cava. This is the orthogonal plane view of fetal upper mediastinum in which you can see all these three vessels, they are aligned in size decreasing order. You can see dot dot dash or dash dot dot, either fetus is in kephali or bridge presentation. So clinically according to you, how easy is it to perform? Basically, if you see, it is very easy to perform fetal echocardiography if you have got proper setting in your machine. There is two techniques. One is rotation technique. When your ultrasound beep is perpendicular to inter interventricular septum, you have to just do the perpendicular. But when you see the four chamber, you can do the sweep technique. You just sweep the probe. So, it is a job of 1 to 1.5 minute to see four chamber to three vessel view. If you do only four chamber view, there is 68 percentage of diagnosis congenital heart disease. But if you combine four chamber view with three vessel view, the sensitivity of this test is 99 percent and specificity is 78 percent. 
in almost all congenital heart disease. Suppose you take tetralogy of fellow when there is a large aorta and small pulmonary. If you see transposition of grace vessels, the two vessels parallel coming. So, there is no dot dot dash and if you have color, if you just put color in this three vessel view, you will see I inverted V shaped color either in red or in blue. So, it is easy to perform and easy to diagnose. This is a level 1 scan by which you can say that this patient is normal or abnormal and in all abnormal patient you can send it to a fetal echographer that you do exact congenital heart disease of this patient. So, it was indeed a very crisp message as we can see over here from Dr. Pandya over here. So, it was uh, great having you over here sir today and uh, discussing a brief about fetal echocardiography. Thank you so much for being with us Thank today you, sir. sir. Thank so, you so remember much. pass, pass, pass and if you do all these three pass, you are passing fetal echocardiography. Thank you so Thank much you. sir. Thanks Thank for you. allowing me. Thank you Thank so you. much sir.